Hey guys, it's Liger Zero. Welcome to episode three of Firewatch. We're going to be jumping into day three. We found out last episode that it looks like those girls who we found on day one that were firing the fireworks were the ones that broke into my uh, outpost. And I guess they did it while I was hiking in the back trail to get back up here. Because I must have been gone for a while. So, yeah. Um, hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Huh. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Aww. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. <laughs> oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. <laughs> if shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try can't seem to now, board that up. Schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Ah. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired. I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Ah, there's... Oh, speak for yourself, mister. I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Distinguished. Okay, it's it. another word for Thank old. You, you get what you need? Absolutely. So where is this other board at? I found two. Hop over. Ah, wait, there we go. Sweet, that's why I couldn't board it up. I think I figured that out about halfway through Delilah's uh, questioning about what I look like. But I didn't want to say anything and interrupt her, so I just went and did it. It's easier that way. Board it up. That's impressive. He's knocking those nails in in one hit each. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go explore a little bit, because why not? Let's see. Let's go down. Whoa, what is this like? Whoa. The whole map is like vibrating when I pull it down there. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go to the medicine wheel. I need to go south.
Go this way. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. <laughs> okay, so I can be like, hey, yeah, I wanna hike um, this way. I wonder what this medicine wheel is down here. Sounds interesting. Ruby River or to Jonesy Lake. Uh-huh, I'm almost there. Ah, here we go. Well, this is a nice big wide open meadow. What is this? So it's like, hmm, somebody built this out here? I mean, I think these normally have some, like, different things growing in each of these spokes, but it seems all the same here. So I guess, uh, well, I guess there's nothing really growing, huh? Oh, well. Let's take a look a little farther south. Oh, I can't get past this, can I? Nope. Nope. That is all blocked. Okay. Well, I guess I'm really ready, ready now. Hey, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. Good. Now get to work. Day nine. I guess I could have hiked for longer, but oh well. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Bad news? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah. Yeah, probably a lot. So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's I, I yeah. I just mention it. Mentioning something. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry. Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Well, I was enjoying the sunset. Now, not so much. I really hope that that wasn't those two girls. Henry, Henry, wake up. going on and pick up the radio what do you want hey you big dumb idiot babe it's late I know it is you sound tired mm. uh... are you having a nice time yeah it's good here why am I talking to Julia? You know. That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Why was I just talking to Julia? Maybe I'm going crazy too. Hike north to a tree. Is it too much a ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? 
It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yes. Anyway, yes we it is. supply drop. Remember, it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She That's a lot of prunes. Need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Ah, yeah, yeah that fence is still here. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Ah, so I, I did doing okay. call you know, her when it comes to her. I am, oh, yeah. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> Still bugged. <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um... Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Wow. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Yeah, we both are two fucked up people, aren't we? Supply drop. Ah, nice. Two, three, four. Ah, uh huh. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. I feel like walking home, honestly. Um, maybe. Yeah. Now, let's go ahead and continue the story. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> Day 64. Two months now. Oh! You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And oh, goodness. She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, let's be so, flirty. No ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, 
how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. It works. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. <laughs> I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Could work. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Ten days later. Man, it's skipping around a lot. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Makes sense. Ooh, put the map away! Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tra tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to lead this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. How do I... Inventory. I need my normal inventory. Nope, nope, nope. That's map. That's compass. I want to pull out my... Nope, nope, I have no way to pull out my fishing rod again. I guess I'll figure it out eventually. Um, so she said look for some fresh tracks around the lake, huh? Search the lakeside for bear tracks. Well... Hope I don't actually run into this bear. I'd prefer not to. Move slow. Just in case. I don't see a bear. But I do see a note. I to what the, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. What? Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry. Um. I am too. 
You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. No, no mushrooms. Just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. Oh! Oh, shoot. Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio mm. of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I think I found that trail. Oh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Yeah. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Delilah, is there something... There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, you and think? you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our... Our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also... I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Okay, this way. Hike safe. I want to know what the hell just happened. I kind of wish I'd read through the rest of that clipboard before I went looking for the radio, but I stopped. Because I figured I'd have it for a while. Damn it. What I get for rushing? be more careful there's the fence okay I'm at the fence I don't see anyone around but I'm not sure I can get past it how big is it big it goes off in both directions acres but what the fuck is going on out here whatever it is someone doesn't want anyone to know about it Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Nope. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Is there anything else I can use to try and break in, maybe? No, nothing this way. Not over here. Why not just climb? There's no barbed wire at the top, so what's stopping me from climbing? Look. 
Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, now. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Cool. Okay, so let's go find these guys. So this went from a fairly normal summer to weirdness in like a space of five minutes. Nope. Mm, yeah, there we go. Where am I going? I'm going south of Ruby River. I'm going way down there. <laughs> Goodness gracious, um, okay, so if I hit Jonesy Lake, I have to come back up the trail right there. I don't know if I have a rope right there. Maybe I do. I hope I do, but if I do, then I can come up there, go down the medicine wheel. No, I have to come back all the way up to Two Forks, and then down there by Cash 307. Wow, that is a long hike. Let's do this. Actually, considering the distance this hike is going to take, it's probably best if we go ahead and end the episode here. And the next episode, we'll make our way all the way down to Ruby River and see if we can get those guys to help us out. Um, well, like I said, this went from like normal to insane in like two minutes. I'm like, wow. Holy crap, I figured we were about to go fishing, and then I'm getting whopped over the head while finding out somebody's been listening in to everything we've been saying. Not cool. I'm, like, totally not okay with that. But we'll continue trying to figure that out next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I enjoyed making it for you. If you liked this one and you want to see more, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel for more com or more content. Blah, can't speak anymore. If you hated this episode, maybe this series, go ahead and click that dislike button. I won't hate you. And if feelings are somewhere in the middle or if you just want to talk about the mystery that seems to be unfolding before our eyes now, go ahead and drop me a comment below. I like to read all of them. Try to reply when I can. And I will see you again in the next episode. Until then. Game on.